So now to summarize finding z alpha over 2. First thing we need to do is find alpha. Remember, we take 100% minus whatever confidence percent we're working with. And then we need to change that to a decimal. Now we have alpha. But don't forget, we want to find alpha over 2. So we're just going to divide whatever our alpha is by 2. Then we look inside the table for the value, going with whichever z-score is closest from the edge. And once we get that value, we're going to answer with the positive version of the number, of the z-score we just found. So recapping our example, if I'm asked to find a critical value, or a z-alpha over 2, they're the same thing, for a 95% confidence interval, first I find alpha, 100% minus 95% is 5% or 0.05. Divide 0.05 by 2 to get 0 0.025. Look in the middle of the table for 0 0.025. And I will find negative 1.96 is my z-score. But when I answer for z alpha over 2, we answer with the positive version of 1.96. And so just to kind of give you a visual on that, I'm 95% confident, meaning 95 out of 100 intervals do contain the true mean, and you can think of that as area centered on the bell-shaped curve, and it's cut off by negative 1.96 and positive 1.96 z-scores, which we're now going to call critical values, or z-alpha over 2. If we're 95% confident, then 5% of the time our confidence interval will not contain the true population mean and that 5% is split between the left and the right tail so that we actually have 2.5% or 0 0.025 in each of the two tails. So now let's go ahead and practice a problem where we're asked to find a critical value for a 98% confidence interval. First thing I need to do is find alpha so 100% minus 98% is 2% or 0 0.02 is a decimal. Alpha is 0 0.02, but we want alpha over 2. So I divide 0 0.02 by 2 and get 0 0.01. Now I have alpha over 1, and I'm ready to go inside the table to look for 0 0.01. So at row negative 2.3, I see point. 0102, which is too big, and 0099, which is too small. So I see which is closer, and two away or one away tells me that being one away is closer. So I want to use negative 2.33, but remember we answer with a positive value. So the critical value for a 98% confidence interval is positive 2.33. Um, now there's three really common critical values you get asked for. A 90, a 95, and a 99% confidence interval come up all the time. So instead of finding them, it's often common to just kind of almost memorize these things. So when I'm asked to work with a 90% confidence interval, then I know my critical value, z alpha over 2, is always going to be 1.645. Now remember on the z table, if you have a tie in between two table values, you average their z scores, and that's what we average them out to. For a 95% confidence interval, where alpha is 0.05 divided by half is 0.025, we will find that one in the table at 1.96. And for a 99% confidence interval, again, we get a tie and find 2.575.